Hello everyone and welcome to your desk size or chair yoga. So we're going to do some movements and I want you to be very careful with your body, listen to your body and the postures I will suggest, they're just suggestions. So it's up to you if you're going to do it fully or you you need to stop halfway through and that's okay. So just listen to your body. We all have different pains and aches. So you just have a good stretch feel, to feel better in your body and you don't have to do everything. So if some posture is not suitable for your body, that's okay. You just can look at the screen, you can learn them visually and then maybe later on you can try them again. Okay, so we're going to start sitting. So I have my office chair. So this is my home yoga studio and I have my office chair. I'm going to start sitting on it and please do we start sitting and then we're going to stand on the feet and do some stretches as well standing. So let's start just sitting. So this is my lovely office chair and when we sit I want you to hop a little bit closer to the end of your seat. To the edge of your seat so you're not leaning to the back of the seat so be comfortable here we're going to check feet feet hips width apart give your feet parallel and we're going to lengthen so we lengthen from the base of the spine upwards to the crown of the head and also lengthen from the hips to your armpits see if you can do that inhale lift your arms and you can exaggerate and then take your shoulders back relax your neck and draw your chin slightly in. So I call the double chin. So we're going to remember about the double chin a lot during the session. So I know when we work at the desk, sometimes shoulders move forward and the chin move, moves forward. So we want to avoid that. We want to have a good posture. So we're taking the shoulders back. You can rest your hands on your thighs, shoulders back and back of the head back. Like sort of trying to do double chin. Okay, back of the head back, crown of the head reaching upwards so we have we have this nice tall back sitting tall so with straight back shoulder blades flat on your upper back chin level back of the head moving back and just take a few deep breaths just a few deep breaths and you try to breathe into your tummy first then into your chest and the upper chest and as you exhale you draw your tummy in exhale fully and again inhale breathing deep expand in all directions and as you exhale just draw your tummy in exhale and again inhale breathing into your tummy then middle chest and upper chest and as you exhale draw your tummy in exhale fully just few deep breath to calm the mind to bring our awareness back into ourselves into the body into the physical body and just check in how you feel today. Well done. And take another deep breath. Big expansive inhalation and stronger controlled exhalation. Just squeeze your tummy in. Well done. Just a few deep breaths helps us to calm the mind, to calm the nervous system. Well done. And we continue with the neck and shoulders, little stretches, little warm up. So what we're going to check again, checking shoulder blades flat on your upper back and your chin slightly in again, that double chin, a little double chin. Well done. Now keep that alignment. We're going to drop right ear to the right shoulder. Exhale, right ear to your right shoulder, nice and easy. And just checking how you feel, how the both sides of the neck and just try to release the tension. Lovely, and then come back and again chin slightly in like a double chin. Now left ear to your left shoulder. Exhale and soften. Well done. And then inhale, come back and again chin slightly in, neck long, back of the neck is long. Right ear to your right shoulder. And now take your right arm <clears throat> and hold your ear. Just holding your left ear and you're gently hugging your head a little closer to your shoulder, just hugging that head. Okay, so to have a little bit more intensity on the side of the neck. Well done. And then lift your hand and turn your head and look under your armpit. And then again, hug your head to your shoulder. You feel more straight now at the back of the neck. This is good. So stretching the back of the neck a little bit more. Gently again, just reminding you. 
gentle stretch and then release stretch your arm and relax and roll your shoulders just soften 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 okay well done we're going to do the other side again chin slightly in left ear to your left shoulder and then you stretch your arm and hold your right ear and hug your head gently to your shoulder just nice and easy feeling a little bit more intensity on your right hand side not much just to have a good stretch and then lift your hand now looking under your armpit and you hug your head again closer to your shoulder and you feel a little bit more stretch at the back of the neck on this side enjoy the stretch a deep breath and then lift your hand and relax and let's again roll the shoulders soften 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 okay well done and sitting again straight shoulders back chin level back of the head back little double chin and we're going to look over the right shoulder nice and easy just looking and checking how you feel come back to the middle and again double chin looking over the left shoulder nice and easy stretch and then come back to the middle well done and again chin slightly in and again looking over your right shoulder and now I want you to look into the corner of the right eye. So you just look a little bit more behind you. And let's check the left shoulder. The left shoulder is still moving back, not forward. Shoulder blades still flat on your upper back. Looking into the corner of the right eye to stretch deeper muscles, which connect your neck to your eyes. And then come back. Come back to the middle. Again, checking shoulder blades flat chin in looking over the left shoulder checking your right shoulder not moving with you and looking into the corner of your left eye just looking more behind you just a little bit more a little bit more carefully having a good stretch and then come back to the middle well done and again just roll your shoulders soften soften loosen up okay well done everyone so now what we're going to do we're going to roll the head from shoulder to shoulder just in front of the body it's much easier and again listening to the body we just want to have a good stretch nice and easy from shoulder to shoulder we're just checking how you feel again how the neck doing easy movements we just want to feel better in our body. Lovely stretch from shoulder to shoulder. I know the neck and shoulders get very tight when you sit long hours at the desk. Well done. And then slow, come back. Slow down. And come back to the middle. And again, sit and stretch. Shoulders back. Back of the head back. Okay, well done. Now I want you to stretch your right arm up. Hold the seat of the chair with your left hand. And we just go gently to the side. Just fold into the side. And I want you to press hips down into the floor or, or into, the, into the seat. And stretch, stretch, stretch. Great. Inhale, come back. Change inside. Left arm up. Exhale, just fold into the right. Hold the seat with your right hand. Okay, ground your hips. Have a good stretch. And then come back. Change inside again. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold into the side. Inhale, come back. And change inside. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, you fold. Inhale, come back. Change inside. Inhale, you stretch. Exhale, you fold, press the, the hips into the, into the seat, press, press, press. Well done, change inside, inhale, exhale, press your hips down, inhale and stretch. And again, just roll in the shoulders. Okay, well done, very good stretch. Now, watch me for a moment. I'm just going to sit sideways to you and i show you a little twist. Twists are great for the back for, to release tension or tightness on the back. And also twists are great to bring more blood circulation, to create more space between vertebrae, to relax the nervous system. And also all the twists are great for the digestive system. So, and we're going to do this twist. 
Watch me for a second. Inhale, you're going to stretch, one arm up. Then you're going to exhale and hug the back of, this, of the chair. Or if you don't have a back on your chair, you just hug or hold this, the back of the seat. And with the opposite hand, you're going to hold opposite knee. So you can use this arm as a lever to go just a little bit deeper into the twist. And then we come back and we change side. So we're going to do twice this twist. Okay, so let, let's do it together. I, I'm going to sit sideways to you. So left hand goes to your right knee and your right arm up. Big circle with your right arm. Inhale, exhale, hugging the back of the chair or hold the back of the seat. Take a moment, inhale, you lengthen. Exhale, squeeze your tummy in and just move in a little bit deeper into the twist. Lift your chin a little, take back of the head back. Well done, another breath. Inhale, you stretch. Exhale, squeeze your tummy in and move in deeper into the twist. Very good. And then inhale and come back to the middle. We're going to change arms here. Now left hand go, right hand go to the left knee and the left arm up, big circles. Inhale, holding the back of the chair. Exhale, moving a little deeper into the twist. Again, inhale, you lengthen. Exhale, tummy in, moving just a little deeper into the twist. Another breath. And then come back. Come back to the middle. We're going to change arms. Now your left hand, again, holding your right knee. Right arm up. Inhale. Big circle, holding the back of the chair. Again, lengthening on the inhalation, engaging your tummy muscles on the exhalation, moving into the gentle twist. Check your neck, chin lifted. Well done. And then come back, change inside. Your okay, left arm up, inhale. Exhale, holding the back of the chair. Again, inhale, lengthen, exhale, tummy in, moving deeper into the twist. Lift your chin a little, take back of the head back. Your neck is soft, nice and easy stretch. Very good. And then come back, come back to the middle. Okay, relax your shoulders. Okay, well done everyone. So that was a nice twist. Later on, we're going to do just a little bit deeper twist. So, but we need a little bit more stretches. Okay, a little bit more warm up for the back. So interlace your fingers now, invert your hands and then stretch upwards. Stretch and wiggle from side to side. Wiggle, this is nice, should feel nice. Press the hips into your seat and stretch and stretch. Okay, well done. Another breath. Very good, and then exhale and relax. Great, so now we're going to do a little bit work for the hands and the wrists. So we're going to simply stretch the arms forward and rotate your hands like so. And do big, big circles as big as you can. Start to warm up the wrists a little bit more. Well done. And then change direction, change in direction a few times, different directions. Very good and then relax. So watch me for a moment for the next exercise. We're going to continue to move the, the hands in circular directions, but now we're going to take the hands and all the arms or the head and we're going to do big, big circles. So this is nice also for the shoulders. And then you're going to bring your hands in and then again stretch and we're going to continue moving like so. Okay, so let's try start together. So with the hands, so rotating the wrists, okay, stretch your arms forward, and now we're going to lift the arms up, okay, up, continue to rotate your hands, and then opening the shoulders, taking the arms wide, okay, wide, well done, and then bring your hands in, this is movements like a flamenco dancer, and again, stretch your arms forward, and stretch up all the way up, stretch the stretch, and open your shoulders, okay, well done. Don't worry if you need to have a break, have a break, we do once more. Okay, stretch your arms forward, over the head, stretch, stretch, and then open your shoulders, wide shoulders. 
Okay, well done. And then bring your hands in. Lovely. Now, we're going to change rotation, directions of rotations. So we're going to rotate hands in different directions now. And again, straighten the arms over the head. Well done. And open your shoulders. Wide shoulders. Okay, bring your hands in. Lovely. Twice more like so. Again, stretch your arms forward and then take all the way up. Okay, if your shoulder's tight, please feel free to stop any time. Just have a little break. Okay, and then bring your hands in. Lovely. Once more, last round. Big, big circle. Stretch up, stretch up, stretch up. And then open in the shoulders. That's very nice. And then bring your hands in. Back where you started. Okay, well done. Rest your hands. Okay, just roll the shoulders. Okay, lovely. So um, next, I'm going to show you a wrist release. So if you, especially if you have carpal nerve syndrome, so this is very, very useful for you. So show me the palm of your hand, like that. Stretch your fingers wide, and then bring your other hand just beneath the wrist joint, and we're going to squeeze all that flesh of the arm into the bone, and then you straighten your arm, and all that flesh of your arm, like a glove, you're going to pull up to your shoulder. So the direction is here, to your shoulder, you squeeze it in, and you pull up like a glove, and then move your hand up and down like so. Okay, and this is supposed to feel very nice and easy for the wrist. So we're just creating more space for the wrist joint and releasing the tension. Okay, well done. Lovely, moving up and down and still moving all that flesh up to your shoulder. Very good. And then just shake, 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 shake your arms and your hands. Lovely. And show me the palm of your other hand. Okay, I'm just going to take my watch off so it's easy, easy to do. And again, we're going to squeeze all that flesh beneath the wrist joint, squeeze into your arm bone, straighten your arm and like a glove, you're pulling all that flesh up to your shoulder. So squeeze and pull up to your shoulder and then move your hand up and down. Okay, should feel nice, nice and easy for the wrist. Okay, well done. Lovely, nice and easy movements. Okay, very good. And then we're going to release. Okay, once more. And then release and again shake your hands and shake your arms. Okay, well done. Connect all the finger parts together. Press against each other. Okay, this is called the sphere mudra or the sphere gesture on the hands. Okay, just press against each other. Press, press, press. All the little fingers, all the fingers and the thumbs having a little workout here. Stretch, stretch. Okay, well done. And then exhale and again relax. Shake, 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 shake it off. Very good. So now we're going to move into the hips and the back stretches. So again, nice and easy. Only if you can do the stretches and if, you, if it feels right for you. So we're going to take right foot. We're going to lift the right foot and we're going to rotate like so. Okay, rotating, bringing more energy to your ankle joint. Okay, well done. And when you're lifting your leg, you know that you need to engage your core muscles. So squeeze your tummy in. Okay, that's it. Moving your foot. Okay, about four or five times one direction and then another direction. Okay, lovely. Relax. The other hand, or the other leg rather. And moving again. Okay, about four or five times one direction. Okay, engage your tummy muscles. Squeeze in. Okay, and another direction. Okay, lovely. Okay, very good. And then bring it down. Lovely. So now, watch me for a second. If it's appropriate, we're going to lift one foot. We're going to flex the foot. So your toes join closer to your shin. And if it's okay, we're going to take that shin above the thigh. So only if it's okay with your knee and your hip joint. Okay, so let's try. So let's try. So let's do right leg. So lift your right foot, flex it dummy in and help with your hand and bring that shin above your thigh and just see how it feels. Is that okay for you? Can you hold it for a little while like so? Then we're going to place one hand on the knee, just stretch your fingers, another hand on your heel. I'm going to just support that with that hand, your heel. And what we do here, 
we try to press the knee up into your hand. So we're not pressing your knee down. We do opposite, we're pushing the knee up to your hand. So to create just a little bit resistance here, but we're not pressing the knee down. So the knee moving up into your hand. So support that this heel with your other hand. Okay, push your heel. Uh, heel is there, push your knee up into your hand. Okay, well done. Take a moment here. Lovely and relax. We do another leg. Flex your foot, your toes drawing closer to your shin, and then you take your shin on top of your thigh. Okay, place your hand on your knee and you're pushing your knee up into your hand. So the direction is up. So the knee moving up, up, up into your hand. Okay, well done. Take another breath. Lovely. And then relax. Place this leg down. We do change legs again. Flex your foot. Take your shin bone above your thigh. Okay, again, knee moving up into your hand. Press your knee up into your hand. And now think about your thigh bone, this right thigh bone, moving back into the hip and you sit tall. Again, stretch up, stretch up. Okay, well done. So knee moving up into your hand, the thigh bone moving back into the hip joint and you stretch, stretch up through the spine. Just enjoy the stretch. Take a moment here. Okay, deep breath. Okay, well done. Maybe now you can fold a little bit more forward. And just holding this leg, front leg. Okay, folding forward, push the thigh bones back, the hips back, just as far as you feel comfortable. Okay, well done. And then come back, changing legs. Place your leg down. Okay, flex your left foot. Take your shin above your thigh. And again, knee moving up into your hand. Lift, lift, lift your knee up into your hand. And the thigh bone moving back into the hip. And you sit tall, sit straight, keeping your back straight, well done. And again, knee moving up into your hand, thigh bone moving back into the hip, and you're sitting tall. Okay, well done. Another breath like so, knee up, hip down. Very good. Now keep your back straight and you're going to fold forward. Just holding this leg in front. Okay, folding forward, it doesn't matter how far. Move the hips back, thigh bone moving back. Very good, and then come back, exhale, relax, and just give your legs a little shake, just relax, 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 relax your legs. Okay, great. We do another round and see if you can go into the full forward bend, which you don't have to do it, yeah, remember that. And again, flex your foot, take your shin above your thigh, okay, good, good, and again, press your knee up into your hand. Sitting tall, lengthen, lengthen, and this thigh bone moving back into the hip, and you're still folding forward. You okay, don't worry to go far, and if you're in the full forward bend here, maybe you can bring your arms over the leg, and maybe you can just touch your toes or touch the floor. Okay, just take a moment there. Good, stretch for the lower back, for the hips. Okay, maybe touching the floor if you can. Neck is soft, the thigh bone moving back into the hips. Nice stretch for the lower back, for the hips. Another deep breath. Don't worry if you just stop here somewhere in the halfway, also good. And then come back, inhale, come back, exhale, relax your leg. Okay, let's change direction, change inside. Flex your foot. Shin on top of your thigh, place your hand on your knee. And again, the direction here, knee lifting up into your hand. Thigh bone moving back into the hip. We want to keep the hips happy. Inhale, exhale, and you fold. Maybe you need to stop here. That's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Oh, you can go all the way. And again, drop your hands down. Maybe touch your toes or touch the floor. Relax your neck. Breathe. Easy breathing. Thigh bones moving back. And you flex your foot. That top foot, keep flexed, toes active. Push the thigh bones back, have a good stretch. Another deep breath. 
Well done. And then come back, come back and relax. So that would be very nice for your hips if you can do these stretches, maybe a couple of times a day. So now we're going to stretch the hamstrings. So very easy, just stretching one leg forward, go on your heel, okay? Hold the back of the seat and lengthen, keep the length, and we're going to slide or fold forward. We're going to fold forward, fold in forward about this front leg. And I want you to squeeze your tummy in, squeeze, 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 press your heel down and your toes looking up towards the ceiling. This is nice. And then come back and change your legs. Another leg, heel on the floor, toes up towards the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen, keep lots and lots of length, engage your core muscles and you fold above your front leg. Nice and easy, enjoy the stretch. Love the stretch. Press your heel down into the floor, press, press, press. It doesn't matter how far you go. Brilliant. And then come back, change inside. Again, press your heel down, lift your toes. Inhale, lots of length, tummy in and we fold. Holding above this front leg, having a good stretch. Lovely stretch. And then come back again. Change inside. Heel into the floor, press into the floor, toes up. Inhale, exhale, core muscles engaged, folding forward. Relax your neck. Press your heel down, toes active, lift your toes up. Deep breath. And then come back to the middle, come back where you started, relax your legs, just shake your legs, relax, 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 shake your legs, okay? Very good, everyone. So I promised you another twist, so watch me for a moment. I, again, I'm going to sit sideways to you for the twist. So the twists, sometimes it's too much for the lower back, so please do listen to your body and you don't have to go into the, this deep twist. So deep twist. Inhale, we're going to lengthen, and as you exhale, we're going to bring your hands together and we're going to try to touch this opposite knee. For example, on this side, I have right elbow, left knee, touching the knee. Or maybe you can go just a little bit deeper and you can use this right arm as a lever to go into the deeper twist and maybe even look up or just look to the side and then come back and we change. And we're going to do twice. And we're going to stay there in the twist for a couple of deep breaths. Okay, so let's try. Let's try together. Inhale, lengthen. Bring your hands in prayer position. And as you exhale, right elbow, go to your left knee. Can you touch your knee? And you can stop here. Or maybe you can slide your elbow over the knee, over your thigh, engage your tummy muscles, and go a little bit deeper into the twist. This top shoulder moving back, mm -hmm. lift your chest, Keep the length and keep your tummy muscles engaged. Just squeeze your tummy into your spine. We want to support the lower back with the core. Well done, come back. And we're going to the other side. Okay, I'm going to swing around for you. Exhale, left elbow to your right knee. Maybe just touching your knee and look to the side. Or maybe go a little bit deeper, lengthening through the spine. Engaging the core muscles and again the top shoulder moving back to open your shoulders. Okay, have a good stretch. Back is straight and long, shoulders open. Lovely. Inhale. And as you exhale, come back. Okay, hands to your chest. Okay, let's move to the other side. So now right elbow to your left knee. Touch it or hook your elbow and go a little bit deeper, lengthening through your spine, engaging the tummy muscles, lift your tummy muscles up, top shoulder back, lean back a little, lift your chin, relax your neck, deep breath, improving the blood circulation, lots going on in the twist, creating space between the vertebra, releasing tightness on the back, inhale, come back, changing sides, inhale, Exhale, touch your knee or hook your elbow and go into the twist. Using your energy of the core muscles, supporting the back, lift your tummy muscles up, top shoulder back, back of the head back, relax your neck. Well done. Inhale now. And as we exhale, look down 
and we're going to stretch arms all the way up, straighten the arms, interlace your fingers, invert your hands and stretch again upwards, stretch and lengthen from side to side, just wiggle again from side to side, lengthen, lengthen. It would be nice now to realign the spine into the stretches after the twist and I'm going to show you first, okay, uh, let's come up on the feet first. So let's stretch arms like so, inhale. Okay, I show you sideways. Inhale, you stretch your arms. Now engage your core muscles, squeeze the legs, and lift your hips off the chair. So this is called the chair pose. The chair pose, and again, sit back on the chair and relax. Okay, how does it feel for you? Is that okay? Don't worry to do everything. Okay, and again, inhale, stretch your arms over the head, engage your core, squeeze the legs in, and again, let's lift the buttocks of the chair. Just take a moment here. Engage your core. And again, we're going to sit. Relax for a moment. Okay, we're going to do twice more if that's okay. Okay, and again, check your feet parallel, hips width apart. Inhale, lift your arms over the head. Engage in the core. Lean forward. Lift your hips off the chair. Take a moment. Deep breath. And again, sit back. Relax. We do once more. Okay. When you're ready. Inhale. Exhale. Core muscles engaged. Lean forward a little. Lift the hips. Hips are still moving back. And you, if you're looking down, you definitely can see your feet in front of your knees. Exhale. And sit. Take a deep breath. Are you okay? How are you feeling? Okay. We're going to stand now. So, and stretch your arms in front, engage your core and stand and relax your arms. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit more stretches for the whole back and I'm going to show you options. So option, easier option, when you're placing your hands on the back of the chair and we're going to do the variations of the down facing dog. So I'm going to show you first. I'm going to move my chair here. So we're going to hold the back of the chair. This is first option. You bring to your knees and you keep your knees bent and you're going to walk back until you feel your back is parallel to the floor. And then maybe you squeeze the legs and you straighten the legs, but don't worry. If your back starts to round when you straighten your legs, the best way, of course, is to keep your knee bent and you, you want your back straight. So you want to have a good stretch here for the shoulders, for the hips, for the back. And then you just walk in. For more advanced options, you're placing your hands on the seat of the chair and you do all the same. It's just a little bit deeper stretch, but again, listen to your back, listen to your hips, maybe straighten the legs, maybe not. Okay, so let's try together. So choose your option, maybe placing your hands on the back of the chair or on the seat of the chair. Okay, we're going to do twice. So maybe first round, do this one, bend your knees and we're going to step back. Step back until you feel your back is long, parallel to the towards the floor now. Bend your knees and really push the hips back. Have a good stretch. And I want you to think about rolling the shoulder blades deeper into the upper back, squeezing the shoulders at the back. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Have a good stretch there. Maybe begin to straighten the legs, maybe not. Don't worry. You can keep your knees bent. Absolutely fine to have your knees bent. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the legs, squeeze your feet and your shins in, the groin is moving back. We want to have a good stretch. Okay, rolling the shoulder blades a little deeper into the upper back. How's your core muscles? Lift your tummy muscles, support your back. Well done, everyone. Take another breath, take another deep breath there. And then bend your knees and walk. Walk in, walk closer to the chair. Okay, that was a nice stretch. And then roll the shoulders, roll the shoulders, relax. Okay, very good. For the second round, you can do the same. Hands on the back of the chair. Or maybe this round, you want to go just a little bit deeper into the stretch. And then you place your hands on the seat of the chair. And it's all the same. Let's bend your knees forward first. And you're going to walk back. Walking back, little steps, little steps, little steps. Walk back. And you, when you're looking back, you want to see your heels beneath the hips. So this is what you want. Heels beneath the hips. So this is good. So you're not overstretching. Rolling the shoulder blades deeper into the upper back. 
push the hips back and maybe again straighten the legs maybe not don't worry again listening to your body this is down facing dog options for you lift your tummy muscles it's okay to have your knees bent absolutely fine if, especially if you're very tight in your hamstrings that's good just keeping your knees bent forward keeping your lower back happy and we want to have a good stretch stretch the hips back lengthen 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 tummy muscles working lift your core muscles up to your spine well done now we're going to bend knees and again little steps forward little steps walking 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 again very good now interlace your fingers invert your hands and let's stretch upwards stretch moving from side to side take space between your feet, hips width apart and just moving from side to side nice and easy stretch just checking how you feel now i know that's more energy flowing through the body now we improved blood circulation, we stretched lots of different parts of the body, lots of muscles. Okay, well done. And then come back, come back to the middle and relax your arms, just roll your shoulders. So what I want you to try next, to try squats. So again, chair is very, very useful here. So holding the chair or holding the desk, you, you don't have to hold the chair, you can hold the desk. Okay, and take your feet wide, so definitely wider than the hips. And for example, I have my yoga mat here. I know that if I take my feet as wide as my yoga mat, so that would be right. Or take your feet wider than your chair, wider than your office chair. So, and what we're going to do first, we're going to come up on the tiptoes and we're going to hold the chair and we're going to squat. Just squat in, squat and hold the chair or hold the desk and we're just going to squat standing on your tiptoes so don't don't worry to go with your feet flat yet just on your tiptoes and you take your knees very wide okay and then come back okay how was it for you was it okay or if it was too much don't worry to go all the way you can stop on a halfway yeah so and we're going to do it again you inhale exhale go on your tiptoes and just go in with your trying to keep the back straight back straight take your knees very wide holding holding well done, you don't have to go very far. Okay, tiptoes fine. And then inhale and come back. Okay, well done, we do once more like so. If that's all right, listen to your back. We try to keep back straight. Go again on your tiptoes, knees wide. So lovely stretch for the lower back, for the back of the pelvis, for the hips. Nice, especially if you sit for long hours at the desk. This is nice just to ease the lower back, to ease the hips. Well done. Now we're going to come back. Tummy in. Inhale and come back. Okay. So now we're going to do another two squats. But this time, if you're happy to go with your feet flat, go for it. If not, stay on your tiptoes. Tiptoes are great. Great option. Okay. You can start again on your tiptoes. Okay. And go. On your tiptoes, you squat. Hold the chair. Hold the chair. Or hold the desk. And if you can, we're going to move the heels slightly back. Maybe you can place your heels flat on the floor, maybe not, don't worry. Keeping your knees wide, maybe you can bring your feet flat, hold the chair. Now engage all your core muscles and come back. Inhale and come back. Strong legs, I know. Relax your legs, I know it's squats are great. Um, good postures, they're good postures and they also require lots of effort. But this is where you're building the strength and also at the same time releasing the, the tension around the back and the hips. Give okay, it once more if that's okay, if that's all right with your knees and the hips. And again, maybe start again on your tiptoes and hold the chair, hold the chair, go lower and lower, as low as you can. And carefully moving your heels back. And if you can, place your heels down, keep your knees very wide, very wide. Okay, well done, take a moment. Take a moment here, take a deep breath. Now engage all your core muscles, squeeze your core muscles in, and then come up standing. Lovely, strong legs. Okay, let's just give the legs a little shake. Relax, relax, relax your legs. Brilliant. Well done, everyone. And again, find your chair and sit on the chair. Again, sitting. Okay, let's have a little break here, especially after the squats, maybe, maybe legs tight, 
Just sit down and have a, have a few breaths. Relax your breath and soften. Well done. Slow down your breath. Very good, everyone. And if you want to stay with me for a few deep breaths, close your eyes, take your shoulders back. Again, chin level, take back of the head slightly back, close your eyes. And we're going to do a little, little short meditation, focusing on the breath, meditation on the breath. Close your eyes, bring your attention inwards. I'm just going to take a little break to release the stress. And we know that deep breath helps us to calm the mind, to calm the nervous system. Deep breath helps us to focus and we bring more oxygen. That's very important healing and anti-inflammatory oxygen into every cell of the body. Slow down your breath. Try to use whole capacity of the lungs. Big expansive inhalation and stronger controlled exhalation. Big expansive inhalation and stronger controlled exhalation. And if you find your mind is very busy wandering gently and kindly, bring your mind back to your body and back to your breath. Just noticing all the physical sensations in your body, how you feel, noticing your emotions and feelings. And just checking in with yourself, what it's like to be you right now. And we use this little break to release the unnecessary tension physical tension, releasing the stress, anxiety, negative emotions or judging thoughts, just bringing yourself back into the present moment, back into your body, back with awareness on your breath. back here and now, checking in with yourself. Slow down your thoughts, slow down your mind. And now deepen your breath. Just start to extend your inhalations, exhalations, a little bit longer. Reawakening the energy in your body. And then open your eyes. Lift your arms all the way up. Bring your hands together and then bring your hands to your heart, to the light within you. And bow your head to your heart, to the light within you. And open your eyes. Well done, everyone. So that was a very nice session. Well done, and thank you very much for joining me. And if you have any questions for me, come to the screen, unmute yourself, ask the questions, or you can write your feedback in the chat. Okay, thank you very much.